Hi everyone, welcome to Boost Product Filter and Search Tutorial Video Series. In this video, we will show you how to set up filters on your preferred themes. A side note that, the Boost Commerce Live theme with Filter and Search 1, is used as our default theme. This is to give you a preview of how an online store looks after setting up filters. You can then apply our filters to whichever theme you're using. Now, let's see how you can set up filters on your theme. Currently, we are in the app dashboard. From there, you can navigate to the theme tab in the menu bar. The first component of theme feature is theme setup. On the screen, these are the themes that currently have our filter. You could click preview to check how it looks on the front store. If you want to set our filters on another theme, you can scroll down a bit to our auto setup. Before you apply our filter on another team, it is a good idea to duplicate it so you could have a backup. We have prepared a document link for you to follow in case, you do not know how to duplicate it. After that, if everything is set, get back to product filter and search app, to click on I have duplicated my theme. Then you select the theme you want to install our filter and choose the filter position. For example, I choose debut theme. Next, you choose run setup and wait for the process to finish. Finally, you can preview the filter on the front store. Now, let's move to the second component of theme. It is the opposite of theme setup, which is theme revert. With this feature, you can restore your themes back to the original state. As you can see, you choose the theme that you want to revert back. In this case, I choose debut theme. If you want to remove the search only, then tick remove search feature only. If not, please ignore it. Then, click Revert Theme and wait for the process to finish. You can click on the eye icon beside the Online Store tab, to check the storefront. Our filter is no longer on the theme. Let's go to the next component of theme, which is Switch Filter Layout. If you want to change the vertical filter to the horizontal one, and vice versa, this is the one for you. The same as Theme Setup, we recommend you to duplicate your theme before switching. Once you duplicate your theme, you can continue with the process. In my case, I will choose the Boost Commerce Live theme with Filter and Search 3 theme to change the layout. The filter is currently vertical. You click Run Setup and wait the process. Finally, we go to Online Store and check the storefront. It now has horizontal filter. This is the final component in theme section. It is default layout settings. With this setting, you can display, as well as change styles of the add to cart and quick view buttons. For instance, I choose style 6 for them and keep the same background color, hover color, etc. You can see how it changes in the preview. We can check how it looks on the storefront. This is the end of the tutorial. Reach us at support at boostcommerce.net if you need any further assistance.